All right, thank you, Tony. Our in-depth coverage of the New York City explosion continues now. Live at 5, we told you four people were injured this morning when officials say 27-year-old Akaye Ula intentionally detonated a pipe bomb in an underground walkway at the Port Authority bus terminal near Times Square. Ula was also injured and taken into custody. Now at 5.30, we're seeing video of investigators at his home in Brooklyn. His neighbors telling media outlets that he wasn't very friendly, and they heard an argument at his home last night before today's explosion. Hi, Witness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centrocchio joins us now in studio. Authorities are continuing, General, to look at video around the place just to make sure that the suspect was not working with anyone else. Busy time of year, people going to New York. I know it was a Monday work day, but he fit right in there. He did. You know, you cannot possibly discern someone who's there for bad reasons versus those that are there legitimately carrying bags, presents, and so on. Extremely hard to make that decision. We've talked so many times about being vigilant you know, pay attention, uh, what do people have to do? They need to obviously be aware of their surroundings. If they see anything suspicious, uh, someone acting a little strange, perhaps carrying a large uh, uh, package of some type, looking a little bit different than someone else, they need to be aware that there could be explosives there, some kind of a detonator, or something beyond what is, appears that should be normal. And obviously to call police, and then they would be in touch with the fusion center. Exactly. You always call local police. There's no, there's no possibility of calling directly into the Fusion Center. Local police will do what they need to do, get whatever information you have, any observations, any recommendations you might have, they will in fact fit it into the Fusion Cell and action will be taken. All right, what happens when that information gets to that point? They determine, number one, whether the, uh, it's actionable. If you have some intelligence that they say, well, this sounds like we need to do something right now, they will. Or if they know something that they already have some intelligence on, they'll react to it. Keep in mind that many of these places don't have any physical security uh, right there. They have certainly cameras and they're able to see whatever is going on. But unfortunately, the physical security aspect of it is the first line of duty. They may not be able to be there in time. And obviously, he worked for an electrical company. We're going to hear more about that. Yes. And he's made, allegedly made that homemade explosive. General, thank you very much. And of course, we're going to continue following the story throughout the night on Eyewitness News.